Hello, my name is Kain San Mononye. I'm the software engineer, and in this video, we are going to be talking about uh, TDD Introduction to Test Driven Development. This video is going to be very brief and it's going to be a practical one. We'll go through the process of implementing test driven development in Visual Studio. But before I do that, let me give a little explanation of what test driven development is all about. Alright, this is my personal definition of, of test-driven development. Test-driven development is an approach to software development where the test cases are first written to test the functionality of the program you need before actual codes are written. I think this definition is very clear. This means that before you write a program, or before you write a function, you first of all write the test case of this function to test how it, f it works. It, it looks like a big deal writing a test for something that is not existing. Okay, so what is really involved? You write a test case and write a minimal code to ensure that the test case works and then you refactor this code to add more functionality until you, you get what you want. So what are the steps involved? First you create a test project Right? Then you write the test case, then you run the test case. At this time it fails because there is no sufficient uh, code to, to handle it. The next thing you do, you, you write the minimal code to ensure that the test case works. Then refactor your code and repeat the process until a working code is achieved. What are the advantages? Why do we have to go uh, to write a test case? Why, why do we not just go straight and write the, 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 the codes, the functions? Why do we have to spend all the time to write a test case? Now the advantages of test-driven development are obvious. My personal view is test-driven development does not replace other computer software development styles, uh, develop, uh, software development styles, but for the most part, uh, you can learn how to apply TDD and it might be very necessary, especially when you work with a team. So what are the advantages? It reduces debugging time, ensures that software is developed in line with requirements, enhances code refactoring and improvement be because time you add functionality to your, your code and you repeat the tests, you ensure that th there is improvement, continual improvement. It also improves the design process, reduces the overall development time, cost of change is reduced or minimal. Alright, so let's go ahead to implement test driven development using Visual Studio. So what we are going to do, uh, we are going to write a program that calculates the average of three numbers. But before we do that, we have to write a test case. So let's write a, a, a program to calculate the, the average of three numbers using TDD approach. Alright, so open up Visual Studio. Open up Visual Studio. Alright, so start a new project. For now, I'm going to create a blank solution. Please pay attention to this. Try to follow it up, rewind and uh, make sure you follow, it's, it's quite easy. So let's just create a, a solution to put everything we are going to develop. Visual Studio Solution, Blank Solution. Let's just call it uh, uh, TDD uh, uh, Tutorial. Okay, so that's the name of the solution. So right now I'm now I'm going to write a test case. Take note of this test explorer. You can get it open from the windows. Okay, so it's, it's good for you to allow it open and you are doing test driven development using Visual Studio. So the first thing we are going to do, we write a test case for this program to calculate average of three numbers. So new project so go ahead to I use C, uh, C sharp, drop down and look for tests. Okay, so I'm going to call this project tests average. Sometimes it's good to uh, have a naming convention. So if you have a, a, a program called average, 
and the test case can be called test average. If you have a, a program called sum, the, the, the test can be called test sum, and so on. So test average. Go ahead to add this uh, project. So this is a test project. It's not the actual one. All right. So no, this is not the the right uh, project. So I'm going to remove it. I'm going to remove. Yes, test average has to go. So add new projects. So choose unit test project. Unit test test average. So this is it. Unit test. That's where it's going to be. So say OK. Ah, uh, OK. I'll go ahead to delete it from wherever it is. So that uh, I think I have it somewhere here. Oh, test average. OK. TDD tutorial. Test average. Delete. And that's fine. So test average add. So I've added a new project, the test case. So the next thing I'm going to do so I'll change the name of this to test average but now we've not written the average function but we are testing it so what I'm going to do now I'll say uh, Let's call the class that will contain this function. Let's call it maths stuff stuff MTS is equal to new maths stuff. Okay. So as you can see, it's giving us this right the uh, wiggles because. Uh, we've not written the program yet so and I'll say uh, integer uh, results equals ma m mts dot average and I have three numbers let's say uh, seven 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 okay so the next thing I'm going to do uh use this function asserts dot i equal um, so expected result is results uh, expected let's say let's say ten let's say ten results okay so now it I've written the test case. If I go ahead to build solution, of course it's not going to work because I don't have no class called master. So that was the first step. So let's go ahead to add this master. Go ahead to right click, add. Let me add a class library this time. I'm going to add a class library. And call it, um, and call it maths classes. That's actually the namespace. It becomes the namespace. So add it, and then I'm going to write the minimal code to ensure that the test works. So here I'm going to call it. Remember. Uh, we have it as maths stuff. Okay, so how public? I'm not writing the average function that I've already tested. Public average, uh, right? Uh, public int average because it's a function that returns an int value. Int val one. Inval two, inval three. It takes three integer numbers, and then we want the average. So what we want to return is the average of the three numbers. So return. If 
val one plus plus val two plus val three over three. So this is it. So if I build this project, uh, the solution is going to build successfully. So let's go ahead to build it. Oh no, I need to I need to add the, the, the reference to the 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 this function, the must of class or the must classes namespace to the unit test. So in the test uh, average I'm going to add a reference to the mass classes that I've just created. So add reference and it's a project reference mass classes and just say OK and then in the test project you, you see it gives, still gives us this right underscore. So you say you import the namespace containing the mass uh, stuff using uh, mass classes. Okay, so go away, please. Go away, go. Away. Oh, sorry. So using math classes, using math classes. Okay, so if we go ahead to build this solution, it's built successfully. So if we look at the test explorer, we have one uh, test case there. So let's run it. Select that test run. It fails. <laughs> so, why did it fail? And if it fails, that's expected. But at least we know that the test case is working, just that it failed. You say message a satire for fail, expected 10, actual value 7. So, let me go ahead to refactor this code to ensure that I have uh, 7 for the actual value. So, Seven times uh, plus seven plus seven over three is going to give us seven. So I, I use it there. I want to rebuild solution and go ahead to test. Run select that test. As you can see, it tells us test passed. So if I go ahead to use my function in a pro in a, pro a project or a team project. I'll be very sure that there are no bugs in it. So, this is how to uh, uh, implement test driven development in Visual Studio using, uh, using uh, C Sharp. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please subscribe to my channel and also leave comment to tell me uh, what you feel, or what you want me to do uh, better, or what other topics you want me to prepare a video on. My name remains Kainsan Mononier and I'd like to thank you for viewing.